Hey guys, it's Rob here, and today we're going to take a look at the history of Chuck E. Cheese in Beaverton, Oregon. This area is interesting mainly because one of the locations had a stage hype I haven't talked about yet in the history series. There's also three locations to talk about, something I haven't done in a while. Thanks to cec.plush.studio.c or Chuck E. Plush Studio C for requesting this location. As usual, I've gathered information from multiple different sources, which I will be linking in the description. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, as in the next Chuck E. Cheese video, I'll be covering a location which kept showing up as elements even after concept unification. Anyways, let's get into the history of Chuck E. Cheese in Beaverton, Oregon. As usual, I'll only be covering the basic information of the city. The first land claim in the area was Lawrence Hall, who purchased 640 acres in 1847 in the area. After the Civil War, the area became occupied by more people, who referred to the area as Beaverton, which apparently is derived from the fact that the area was near a large body of water that came from beaver dams. Beaverton became incorporated in 1893, which by that time, the population of the area was at 400. As of the 2020 census, the population of the city is 97,494, making it the 7th largest city in Oregon. The 11753 SW Beaverton Hillsdale location opened in October of 1981 as a Pizza Time Theater location. No photos or videos of this location have surfaced. The only thing we know about this location whatsoever is that they had a balcony stage, and it's up in the air which guest stars they would have had there. My guess is Harmony Howlett and then Helen Henney, which would have stayed at the location for the rest of its time open. The location closed in January of 1985 for unknown reasons, though it likely could have been due to the location underperforming. The area is now a Trader Joe's. Unfortunately, we don't know what happened to the animatronics from this location, so if any of you know anything about what happened to them, comment down below. The 4445 SW 110th Avenue location opened in September of 1990 as a Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza. They opened with Chucky's House, also known as the Rocker Stage. I haven't covered this stage before, so I'll briefly explain what it was. Essentially, it was the last Pizza Time Theater era animatronic stage, in which the stage was actually a house with a full-body Chuck Cyberamic in the center, a sitting Jasper and Helen Cyberamic on each side, and Munch and Pasquale inside the house, being half-bodies. It was definitely a cool stage, to say the least. The location opened with the 1988 remodel, which means this location would have had the Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza exterior, as well as checkers on the exterior as well, plus white walls. There's actually a video from 1996 that shows off a bit of the store, and sure enough, we see white walls. At least, I think they're white. The video is in black and white, so I can't quite tell for sure. The main thing we get to see here is the rocker stage. It looks quite interesting in this video, with the lights around the front of it. The animatronics seem to be moving quite well here, which is always nice to see. For some reason, the walk around is difficult to see in this video. Luckily, someone takes a photo in the video, so the flash allows us to see what he looks like much better. It appears he's wearing cool check attire, with a bow tie, and also has a derby on, plus he uses the newer mask mold. Between 1997 and 1999, this location got the Phase 2 remodel, which removed all aspects of the 1988 remodel, including the exterior most likely, judging by this photo taken in 2001. Unless this location had a different Phase 3 sign, I'm going to assume this is a Phase 2 sign, since it's definitely different from the ones I've seen on Phase 3 stores. The rocker stage, however, was not changed here, and remained instead of being converted into a one stage or two stage. In the early 2000s, this location received phase 3, which would have changed the exterior to this. This remodel also included downsized sky tubes, the toddler zone, and ticket munchers. Surprisingly, this location still did not get rid of the Chucky's house and convert it into a one or two stage, and instead kept Chucky's house. Unfortunately, this location closed in January of 2003 due to the location being relocated. Currently, the area is now part of a Home Depot store. The fate of the animatronics at this location, however, is unknown. Again, if any of you happen to know what happened to them, please comment down below. The 4145 SW 100th Avenue location opened on January 2003 as a Chuck E. Cheese's with a Studio C Beta, a 32 movement one. It opened with Phase 3, the same remodel the previous location had before closing. Around 2005, the curtains used on the animatronic stage were disabled. 
This location received the 2005 update to the 2003 Kolchak reconfiguration in the late 2000s, which removed most of the 90s decor for newer decor, replaced the lighting, and added purple walls. The exterior, however, seems to have barely changed at all, and it may not have at all, as the exterior looked like this in 2010 from a video that actually shows off some of the store. Let's talk about that. So, a video from 2010 shows off the store after it had received Phase 4, and we can see things such as purple walls proving that it had indeed received the remodel by this point. We also get to see some of the games they had during this time, the Skytubes and the Studio C Beta Chuck, wearing Cool Chuck attire during this time. We also get to see the walk-around from this time, the classic Avenger Chuck walk-around. It wasn't until some point between 2016 and 2017 that the location would receive another significant change, that being the exterior being updated partially. The Cool Chuck sign was replaced with a 3D Rockstar Chuck sign, but the Phase 3 letters stayed surprisingly. We can also see that the checkers were added around the Rockstar Chuck sign during this time as well. Later, they also received 2.0 artwork, but did not remodel to 2.0. In 2020, the sky tubes would be removed due to a certain pandemic, and in January of 2023, the location was bought by corporate. So September 2023, this location has Phase 3, Phase 4, Phase 5, and 2.0 all at the same time. And still has their Studio C beta, which unfortunately no longer performs due to the halting of Studio C programming back in mid-2022. Honestly, it's quite odd how this location essentially has aspects of four different remodels, and I find that kind of cool about this location, having all these mismatched elements that make it a unique location. I don't know if this location will be receiving 2.0, or when, but I will be sad to see it go simply due to how unique this location is with all the different remodel traits. Overall, Beaverton had some interesting things to talk about, with it having a Pizza Time Theater all the way back in 1981, the Rogger Stage that I hadn't talked about before this video, and the location that's currently open with the mix of Phase 3, Phase 4, Phase 5, and 2.0. Overall, this area does have some interesting aspects to it. Thank you guys for watching this video, and thanks again to Chucky Plush Studio C for requesting the area. It was cool finding out about a location that has aspects of four different remodels, and I find that quite unique about it. I'm going to be taking a break from history videos next week, as I'll be doing the next What If video. Specifically, what if Showbiz Pizza Place bought the Rock of Fire Explosion? Which will discuss what would have happened if Aaron Fector had sold off the rights to the Rock of Fire Explosion to Showbiz Pizza Place. After that video, I should have a big announcement to make, which will be adding a new type of content onto the channel. I'm sure you Chuck E. Cheese and Showbiz Pizza Place fans will like it though. If you want to see that video, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you're notified when it drops. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.